Comelec has received the petition of Ronald Cardema as the substitute nominee for the Duterte Youth Party List. A different body, however, will still have to decide whether he could actually sit in Congress. Patricia Mangune has the story. The Comelec has proclaimed the 51 winning party list groups. Nominees from the party lists will take 61 seats in the lower house of the 18th Congress. Three each will come from the top two party lists, ACT, CIS, and Bayan Muna. Two each from Ako Bicol, Sibak, Ang Provinciano, Juan Pacman, Marino, and Provinciano Ako. While 43 party lists will have one seat each. But the issue of who will actually sit among the party list nominees remains unclear. Ang gusto namin i-emphasize, ang pinroclaim namin kanina is the party list. Okay. Not necessarily the, the nominees. So like the issue of uh, senior cities at dalawang faction yun eh. Okay. Uh, so hindi pa natin alam kung sino sa kanila kasi uh, under pan pa yun, under protest pa yung mga nominees nila. Duterte Youth is one of the winning party lists where former National Youth Commission head Ronald Cardema seeks to be a substitute candidate to replace his wife. Comelec Chairman Abbas confirmed that the ANBANC ruled in favor of accepting Cardema's application for substitution. He said it was submitted within the deadline before Election Day, even if it was received on a Sunday, May 12, and outside regular office hours. Ang issue lang doon is kung whether or not nakahamul yung substitution niya. And under the rules, uh, before election, nakapaghain nga sila. Under Comelec Resolution 10420, the deadline of filing for substitutions was set until midday of Election Day. Comelec Commissioner Rowena Guanzon clarified the decision was not an approval of Cardema's bid to be a substitute party list candidate. Giving due course to an application does not mean that we approve his application for substitution. It does mean that he's already substituted as nominee. It only means that we accepted or if that resolution comes out. It only means due course means that the Comelec accepted his application for substitution. The Comelec is set to study the opposition petitions who are against Cardema's substitution. One of the issues to be resolved is whether Cardema's age qualifies him to be a representative of a youth sector party list, which, under the Party List System Act, should be not more than 30 years old. 33 years old na po siya, which means na masyado na siyang matanda para maging representante ng isang youth party list. News 5 is still seeking Cardema's side on the issue. For News 5, Patricia Mangune, we are One News. So the party list system is again the subject of controversy due precisely to the Duterte Youth Group. This is the first time that all five nominees of a party list have supposedly backed out at the last minute. Ronald Cardema, who is also chair of the National Youth Commission, filed for substitution Sunday afternoon on the eve of the elections. Comelec says Cardema did beat the deadline. Still, the issue of whether Cardema is qualified will have to be decided by the House Electoral Tribunal. The tribunal, however, usually takes a lot of time to decide. In some cases, decisions are made well after the three-year term of an official has already ended. So why is Cardema's qualification being questioned? Based on the party list law, or RA 7941, the age of a youth sector representative should be 25 to 30 years old. Cardema is 33. The issue of who can run for party list has long been a problem as well. Based on the framers of the 1987 Constitution, the party list system aims to give voice to marginalized sectors. But the Supreme Court in 2013 held that the party list system is not only for marginalized sectors, but for anyone effectively who has an advocacy. Based on the Supreme Court definition, these are who can join the party list elections. All national, regional, and sectoral parties need not represent any particular sector. Representing a region or place will do. Representing a marginalized sector is also not a must. Because of this, any political party may join so long as they do not have other representatives in Congress. 
Finally, one need not be a member of the very sector one intends to represent. You just need to champion their advocacy. This means you could represent security guards, for example, even if you have tons of bodyguards yourselves. And you could represent poor people even if you are a millionaire, or in some cases, a billionaire. This is the reason why there are millionaires, billionaires, and political families in the present partylist system. Now, can the partylist system be fixed? It can. That could be done by Congress, which, however, of course, is ironically dominated by political parties and political clans, even in the partylist section. Another option is to again petition the Supreme Court and hope that it reconsiders its reading of the partylist law in 2013.